Hello, tacticians and strategists, Templars and spaceship pilots. Welcome back to Templars Battle Force and playing hardball. So we have beaten a lot of nasty guys with their rocket launchers and other stuff. Um, so we got a lot of levels and can invest a lot of requisition points. Yeah, and I, uh, I thought that I did it, uh, that I'm doing it on camera now, th so you uh, get an uh, impression how this is. Now that we are basically in the mid game, maybe a, a slightly later mid game. Um, so we've got level 13 here, attributes one. So with the captain, I guess actually I think maybe more strength is in order, huh? Melee, heavy ranged weapons, critical damage multiplier for melee attacks. And actually, let's have quickness. We'll, we'll push quickness to 10. I mean, I'm also inclined to give some more willpower for resistance. But so far, I think, I mean, uh, things are dangerous anyway um, and I think it's better to rather not be hit than to, to uh, tank like up to three hits or something and then we are dead anyway. So, um, and I also think melee defense, I think it's probably time to get gunnery and evasion. Yeah, let's now although we are actually hitting nicely enough. Grenades, increases grenade accuracy rolled by one standard dice, increases critical damage multiplier. I mean we we do throw uh, grenades and it's great with them. <clears throat> so let's maybe Yeah, let's have more grenades, right? I mean we are not always killing them. So that's actually a bad thing. So here we have the opportunity for captain's blade that would be better legion command that's already the best one we can get we are just ignoring this here there seems to be some kind of bug since they patched the game um yeah and the heavy plasma sidearm is actually maybe still the best option because we need to kill quickly with them because he's not so mobile uh, as the scout so Rangefinder is still the best option I find and also a thing that we definitely need with the accuracy increase and the 6% critical so only option is swift kit but yeah it's also not it's nothing really better and that's the thing so we do have the option for this there where was it uh, the twitch kit right yeah this one there we get parry and dodge. However, that's level four. So with the captain, we would lack one level. I mean, we could go back to this uh, to this blade, and it wouldn't do too much, or it wouldn't cause too much of a difference. But actually, yeah, I think it's actually fine like this. So. We just leave him like this. Doesn't matter so much if we have uh, one level less. Uh, but let's just check it again. This was the Legion command is actually level five. And uh, we want to have another armor, right? It's this one here, the void armor. And that's nine. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, as you can see, we are kind of, uh, we are kind of uh, at a gap. So let's just level up the other guys here. Yeah. He gets strength 12 for better shooting and also critical, no, just for shooting. So, but I think like 12, 12 is actually enough, I guess. And after this, we can go more willpower, maybe a bit quickness and stuff. By the way, focus. 
Crit crit critical damage multiplier for any attack. Auto block, well, that's not something we actually do much. Focus can raise auto block, okay. So, and for him, the grenades are also becoming way more useful, right? Ah, but we need another talent for this one. And it's always only three. So, let's have gunnery. He should not miss any targets. Yeah, we already invested all we could. Leviathan, oh yeah, actually now we have actually, we could have six damage. That would be something, however, just six. I think ranged, yeah. Plus two range accuracy is probably better than six points damage because then we make sure we really hit, right? So and then, yeah, I think that's better like this. So that's fine. So for the soldier, we actually don't need any upgrades. Then Tinkerer as engineer or Tinker, uh, can use more heat willpower, right? 150%. Yeah, I mean, his biggest danger uh, is most likely that he's overheating himself too much. So let's increase engineer as well. Okay, capture. Oh yeah, the sentry turret. So here we do have, it's always only two. And I think same goes for the pirate turret. By the way, I'm not so I'm not so happy with the pirate turret. I like the uh, Overwatch ability of the uh, Sentry turret way better. However, on the other hand, uh, it's actually pretty convenient to have more turrets. So I think it would be a, it, it can be a good thing to have two in one location, right? So. So, yeah, oh, and we can't capture better. Next one would be three to seven. And still 15 heat. However, capture six becomes more interesting. Now, or actually rather capture seven with four minimum damage. But actually like capture six of, of four is also, in my opinion, already rather sufficient um, because it is like on average, you know, we will have, if it's a very strong tech point that is occupied by the enemy, we will use three attacks and that's it. So I guess it's fine. So then let's upgrade the sentry turret, right? The next one gets improved tortoise plating. Let's do that one because here the next one deploys turret with improved coated shell. Yeah, no. Let's get this one here. So let's see. We have the flame tank armor. That's the little one. Yeah, and I think we can just keep it. Also, it gets uh, it gives us evade plus fire damage. Yeah, the hand flamer. That's a good thing. The only down time here is that it's only plus two accuracy and we are not the best shots uh, anyway. This one we will always use the cyclone reactor with him. Besides, yeah, this is engine and hydra. Yeah, so it's always good. So, uh, yeah. Range accuracy. It's also the best we can use. So cutter gauntlet. Oh yeah, well, so here we actually we also oh we have two points. So here for two levels, uh, it could actually be very worthwhile to get a nice level up. Oh yeah, here we have the Flamework Pansen. That is certainly a nice upgrade. Oh, what else do we have? Oh yeah, this one here, the turret defense for, for the tech point. Could be interesting as it's rather cheap. Um, architect revolver reinforced structure three that's increased HP for the tech point, right? Scoped revolver, ping bag sensor. Mm, yeah, no, not too interesting here. This is power field and repair engineers resupply to get 
uh, the talent, a new kinetic refine axe, what's that? Okay, max hit points and max heat, that's actually interesting for the heat, but not a necessity, I think. Linked sensor net, so I actually I like the flame area. Oh yeah, capture 5-6. Prox attack hit, oh yeah, this is actually a good thing, so we get this one. We'll get this one. And then this one, cutter barb. Oh yeah. Cannon revolver, cutter indus fist. This is linked sensory uh, relic, linked sensory net. That's probably not worth it. But I think here we, we uh, yeah, we should get this one here, right? So that's for 50. The cutter barb. We don't need at the moment. Let's get back to the veterans. Tinker, equip. Uh, yeah, I mean, we don't have so much. Oh, it's, uh, it's also accuracy. Well, okay, actually, hmm. for one level, it's probably not worth it, actually. Uh, Ah, well, okay, there you go. This is, this is how it goes with the level up. Um, so maybe actually we have the cutter barb and this way we have more accuracy and also slightly better defense, right? Yeah, right, the six accuracy for parry. Six accuracy, four parry. This one is four and two parry. So I think that's actually worth it for level three. And this one was level five. All the flame work punzen. And we need this one here, the scorch order. We don't need anything here. Yeah, and this one is level six. The flamework punzen. Level six. And this is just level two. So actually, we we lack four levels. Uh, so let's get the cutter barb. I think that's not too bad. It's also not super expensive with 60. And actually like a better, a better, uh, better gauntlet. Here there was one, the Relia's Fist. It's 4, 4, 20. Yeah, no, it's not, that's not worth it. 4, 4, 20. So I think for him, the cutter barb is actually not so bad. He'll always have uh, the gauntlet. So let's get this one. Yeah, and 6% more auto block. That's actually pretty decent. So I think that's, that's a, a good upgrade, which means Lexa it's also willpower engineer, talents, capture. You could get more, right? Or we actually give you a pirate turret as well. So let's rather do that. We have the snap. Eighty three could also go. Yeah, actually, I think it's yeah, he already has the flamer anyway. Flame tank punzen uh, with the with both types of turrets. Boosted reactor overlay scanner. So that's actually nice. So 
that increased our survivability, I think. So then Hansel and our other soldier. Let's have a look at you. Strength 12. I think he should probably get the willpower. Reduce damage from overheating, reduce damage from fire plasma and radiation, increases critical damage multiplier for grenade attacks. Yeah. That's that. And let's actually have one more gunnery at 12 and then next time next uh, level we give him more grenades i think so no more talents yeah rallying charge so equipping so we have the assault mk8 is better significantly better but costs four levels more and it's most likely not really worth it and uh, we have one level here eight damage that's good for two levels bullseye lock to range accuracy or oh, there's nothing better for him legion leviathan is the best armor i guess also concerning the levels so we have one level so i guess we are sticking with the battalion rifle right now and we give him one better uh, Yeah, one better gauntlet, which is the heavy gauntlet, same accuracy, one point parry more and 3% more auto block and a little bit better with the punching. <clears throat> so that's fine. Then we have our Cyclops scout status. Yeah, you get willpower. Cause heat. You get mo even more stealth. I think it's actually, I, I think I underestimated it, but uh, the enemy is actually not seeing us if we have really high stealth. So that is actually a good thing. Equipping. Yeah, this one here, the Typhoon Scanner, that's a good thing. Swift Kit. Yeah, I mean, the, the most important thing is the one movement point. Leviathan Ranger. Okay, the Needle Cannon, we don't have any better with bio poison or anything oh yeah and here we need a lot of levels more heavy gauntlet so we have one level let's have a look requisition for the scout this was the hell side rifle with eight range which is really good but we don't need it um headshot head shooting is a good thing no no leviathan Certainly an interesting armor. However, we want to go for these ones the Ranger Assault or the Panther Deep Due to the high evasion radiation is this uh, resist. So I think that's actually a better thing to have Also just in case we could buy the null null shield Although I actually think that we'll never do that. But this this year might be a good thing Prox activated kit. Okay, that's not interesting with the auto block and dodge. This one here, erod coated gauntlet. High auto block. But it's probably also not so super interesting. So actually, we don't need to invest anything here. The twitch kit is interesting. And so far as a uh, it in, in case we get hit or we get uh, caught somewhere it increases our chance but it costs levels and i personally would rather always invest in better armor uh, or a better weapon speaking of the weapon so the rubicon needler is the best the best bio uh, sway suit Okay, now max hit points, penetration, deflection, synchro side. It's not interesting for him, but yeah, this uh, the Rubicon Needler is actually interesting. However, costs nine levels. Blitz kit, it's two MP, but minus ten max heat, and that's something we don't want to have. But we will need to get this one anyway. Ah, oh, yeah, and here we have the Needle Viper. Uh, which is actually interesting crippling fire seven as well and overdrive 
So actually we could get this one. So this is level seven. And this one is level five. So actually we need two levels. And yeah, I mean, we could get back on the armored gauntlet. So let's do that. The, this, uh, the weapon was way better. The needle viper and for overdrive. So this is 60, let's do it. Now we need to be a bit careful, 148 points left. Cyclops. Equipping needle cannon or the needle viper. So this is, oh, actually it only has range six. Oh, but yeah, and well, it does a little bit more damage. I actually, I like the seven range. Oh, well, okay. We need it for the talents anyway. So actually, I think we, we keep the needle cannon. I feel that it's better with one field more range and the further we are away the the better and then the enemies can't see us as well okay so then we wasted some requisition points and by the way so uh, the captain has has one level right um yeah uh, sorry <coughs> we could also give, is there another the assault leviathan here this is only for the berserker and the paladin it doesn't concern the captain though but i think there was i ah, yeah, hear the better the other sword draco sword this is certainly interesting so four accuracies four six fourteen four six fourteen oh sorry and this costs level three, four, six, fourteen. Four, six, fourteen. Four, six, fourteen. So that would actually be a significant upgrade for him. And also costs three levels. So actually, actually, we should do that one, huh? unless we have something better. Oh, but that's up here. So we need to invest actually 120 points to get there. And then that's all we can do. And this one is basically wasted. Assault Leviathan, although it's 36, 84, 2. 36, 84, 2. Thirty-six. 84 2 so that's it's better way better I think uh, yeah could be certainly interesting a good option but let's level up the others first so you get strength so you always hit better with your fire um, yeah, gunnery, but when we have strength 12, I think we go for a little bit more willpower. Talents we don't have right now. Shadow flame armor, yep. That's a good one, actually. Armored gauntlet, we do have some upgrade options. We have one level. Anything better here? No. For armor. Boosted reactor, nothing better here. One MP is great. Yeah, and the Hydra incinerator, that's the best we get. And yeah, nothing there. So let's have uh, instead the heavy gauntlet for same accuracy, but better defense. And actually more punch. 52 max. Before it was 40 and 22 points more penetration. That's actually significant. Although we will most likely always shoot our fire weapon anyway. But that's fine. So we don't need anything for the uh, for the uh, Hydra right now. So Paladin goes here, gets strength. Yeah, def. Oh well. Well, the medic is not so bad. But yeah, let's have firstly the warrior. Um, slay. Ah, we need. Yeah, that's all the. 
abilities we can get. Huh? Slay, this one is plus, plus two damage. This is the self buff. Six seed gets three auto block and one parry per level. And the healing four times the medic. So that's actually relatively uh, significant. So actually, let's let's get this one. And by the way. Ah, oh, yeah, very good. And it's also increasing the numbers we can use it. So that's actually a good thing. So we have one level. Legion Command is already the best one. Captain's Blade is already uh, is the best one by far. War Shield is more interesting, in my opinion, due to the counter attack. So, and here Armor or Fire Resistance. Or all accuracy crit, parry dodge, deflection, counter attack, and block. Yeah, that's actually that's actually also interesting. We want to do our uh, counter attacks as often as possible, right? Counter attack is fourteen percent. Yeah, let's do that one. More, a little bit more deflection, counter attack, and auto block. So, like this. And then we have auto block 23%. That's already relatively significant. So, we have no more levels left. So, actually, we don't really need anything. Spooky. You get strength because you are our head shooter. Gunnery. Yeah, I mean, stealth for you is also. Yeah. Well, let's have gunnery. Pacing fire is a good thing to cripple the defense, but yeah, then here this one. When does it start with minus three? For that we need two levels. And this one is increasing, so let's have the headshot. And overdrive would need two levels as well, right? So now then let's have the headshot too. Equipping him, Leviathan Scout. Ranger would be way better, right? However, we don't want to be close to the enemy anyway. Yeah, this is the best weapon, seven range. Significant damage. Here we have the same accuracy if we k take the heavy gauntlet. So let's keep this one swift kit. It's, it's already good with more movement point. Anything here? Oh yeah, yes. Ah, that's the proxy attack kit. But you only have one level. So let's have the ocular scanner. And this one here will be more interesting. The overlay scanner, uh, range attack and critical. But let's keep it like this for the moment. Armored Gauntlet is the lowest one. That's fine. Leviathan Scout, yeah. So he's he's more on the offensive. And our third soldier goes strength, gunnery, talents. So I feel. Oh yeah, and he actually. Uh, yeah, actually, let's let's respect all of them, all the talent. So here we go. We have six points. We definitely want concussion grenade. It's always only three. Uh, but it's great to have it. So then, I mean. I don't see such a big uh, advantage between shredding fire and our normal burst fire. I mean, it's a bit, it's, it does higher penetration, but not so much. And I mean, the damage increase is significant, but uh, it's also maximum three range. So it's really not worth it, in my opinion. Can rather take the normal burst fire. This one is certainly a good thing. 
So we get one range. Rallying charge. Ah. Okay, no. Well, on the other hand, yeah, no, no, no. Sorry. Let's respect the talents again. So, rallying charge for 2 MP. Concussion grenade. And then overwatch for him is probably, yeah. The uh, most important thing. So let's do that, like so. He's got the battalion rifle. The assault MK8 would be the best choice. Yeah, the Vithan armor. Armored gauntlet is the lowest one. We have one damage increase, so let's actually save one level here for two damage. Uh, that's certainly worth it. And then we can. No, we can't take this one. Uh, plated Leviathan. Bullseye. Ah, oh, yeah, well. Would be great. Uh, this one here, it's four levels. And we have. 12 damage more, 4%. So it's it's one level. And how much? It's plus two accuracy. Yeah, so actually we, we are unequipping this one here. Let's give him the assault rifle as well. Yeah, that's a good thing here. Like so. Good. So, Cyclops could do something with one level. Uh, yeah. Leviathan is three. No, actually, we have no choices. We really have no choices here. I mean, we want to get here to the uh, here to, to these ones, the Ranger Assault. But here this proxy kit, it's worthless at the moment. Or, well, I think we are not ever using it. And yeah, this one here. We just have to pay for it to, to get to the better uh, armors. But that's all of it. And the Null Storm armor. That's actually interesting due to the stealth increase as well, right? But it's also extremely costly and I'm not sure if it's ever worth it. And I'm not even sure if we get so many levels. So we leave the scout like this. The captain uh, doesn't have enough levels, so we are actually keeping it like this. Yeah, and that's this thing. So if you have any ideas, please do share them. Um, but I think we are keeping it like this here with him. One level, it's fine. Yeah. There's nothing better here. Commander's Leviathan. Yeah, it's not worth it. So here, the, the Void Armor. That's way better. I like that one really a lot. But it has nine levels, so... That's really the thing. And Devastator sidearm, that's the thing here. Oh yeah, and range accuracy, six damage, six per, uh, penetration, the precision pilot kits, this is the thing we want. Devastator sidearm is very interesting. Cortas crossblade. 14 levels for nine, nine, 26. Oh, and it costs 300 requisition points, so. Dark light kit, yeah, no. What's this stuff? Cascading tact, no. Tree kit ocular, no. Void legion armor. Counter attack, oh yeah, that's actually also interesting. The void legion, this is the void armor. Yeah, but I like the, the resistances, yeah. 
and our cap always gets a lot of heat and with heat I'm not meaning the heating up but a lot of enemy is coming for him this is the null blade for seven levels and the hunter's shield yeah no so I'm actually I think uh, that the this year Draco's sword is actually not so bad. Shalun's wrath. The salt Leviathan. Let's actually let's get this one. So yes and yes. And now the captain can have a better sword. Draco sword, right? 4, 6, 14. And, well, okay, slightly less damage stuff. But I think that's worth it. Draco sword. Uh, yeah. Right? And Helios. The Assault Leviathan. So there we go. No, no, actually it's better. The Legion Command is better. Yeah. Draco Sword. Well, okay, now this one is actually with 12 auto block for parry. Yeah, this one is a bit more defensive, so actually let's do it like this. This is slightly more defensive, but this way we can actually get uh, get something else here. Do we have anything that's more costly here? Auto block 8%. That's actually probably... Uh, uh, that's actually I, I think that's better in combination here with one of these let's have this one fire resist two armor and fire resist and then we have a lot of fire resist so and then we have 31 percent auto block i think that's good i think that's good so the decision has been made so and before going on the next mission we will end this episode here uh, it took a moment but i think it was worth it and yeah so i hope you found this one interesting i think the next level up i'm probably doing off camera again uh, because yeah then i can just take a little bit more time i'm not sure if it's really interesting to watch it uh, for you guys you can yeah just tell what what you want if you want me to do this on camera um but i think it's probably not necessary i would just do it every couple of missions uh you know if, if something significant comes up or whatever um and of course i would always say what i do right so yeah, please do tell what you think if you agree with this uh, with this uh, tactic. Yeah, to cope with this. Yeah, in the next mission we go to the uh, the Dryan Palace. So let's see what's going on there. Thank you for watching. See you next time. I would appreciate if you click the like button and join the channel if you haven't done so yet. So you never ever miss an episode again. See you next time. Bye bye.